Shalom Chevre, this is Richard Solomon, and this will be a brief demonstration on how to use Google Plus Hangout. Now, in order to use Google Plus Hangout, you will need a Gmail account and a Google Plus account, and you'll notice over here that Elaine is actually ready to engage in a video conference with me because the camera is green next to her name and let's engage Elaine in a Google Plus Hangout. A Google Plus Hangout basically is a web tool which enables 10 people to engage in a video conference live, also chat with those 10 people and even screen share. So, again, I'm assuming that each of you has Gmail and a Google Plus account, and let's show you how to engage in a Hangout. We click on this icon over here, or over here. And there's my picture. Here we are on Google Plus Hangout. And I could type Elaine's name in here if I wanted to, but let's just first start the Hangout by clicking here. And by clicking here on Invite, there's my picture, I'm going to invite Elaine to join this Hangout. So I write Elaine's name in. Elaine Solomon. There she is. And we click on her picture here. Let's do that. So I'm going to have a video conference with only Elaine. But we could do this with many, many other people or 10 people at once. I'll invite her by clicking here. And you'll notice back here Elaine is actually getting an invitation to join this Hangout, and all she would have to do is to click over here and get to the screen. So, let's wait for Elaine to join the Hangout. It looks like Elaine has joined the Hangout. There's her picture, and there she is. So let's prove to everyone, Elaine, Hello. that you and I are actually engaged in a live conversation, even though the truth of the matter is you are in a different room in our house, but you could be, obviously, anywhere in the world if you had a Google Plus account and a Gmail account. So why don't you just say something to the folks watching this video demonstration? All right, Elaine, thank you so much. Now, let's show everyone how we chat. So what I'd like you to do, and I'll do this as well, is we'll click the chat button, as I'm doing right now, and I'm going to write Elaine a message. And let's see if Elaine can read that message and give a response. Ah, she's typing. So what did she say? 
She says, it feels a bit strange to type an answer to you when you're in another room. <laughs> Very good. That's true. That's a creative response. Now, please understand that where it says invite here, you can invite nine people to simultaneously engage in a live video conference. And a total of 10 people could also be engaged in a chat. You also have the option to show a YouTube to the 10 people in the Google Plus Hangout. Here's a control to mute the microphone. Here's a control to shut the camera off. And if you wish to exit, you go here. But one of the great things about Google Plus Hangout, aside from the fact that it's free, and it enables people all over the world to engage in a video conference, is it has screen sharing. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click my screen share button right over here. And it gives me lots of options of screens that I could share with Elaine. And I'm going to ask Elaine if she can tell me what she sees on her screen, on her computer. I see the homepage of jewish-education.org on my screen right now. That's fantastic. So if I wanted to do a tutorial for Elaine or for up to nine other people and show those nine other people how to negotiate this website, jewisheducation.org, we could do this. So let's get back to the screen over here. Let's end screen sharing by clicking here. We can cancel screen sharing. And what have we said? We have said that if you have a Google account, a Gmail account, and you have a Google Plus account, you can invite up to nine other people to participate in a video conference with you. They also can chat with you, and they could screen share. You even can show YouTubes together for everyone to see. And it's all for free. Thank you very much.